What's up guys? Welcome back to my witchy world, which is, it's that time of the month. It is, God, the first, the second, the third, what is it? The second of February, so it's subscription box time. As always, I get the sacred space crate box before any other box. It's just how it's always been. This is the box here. It's a, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, <laughs> it's bigger compared to the size that it typically is. So I am curious to see what's inside. But before we get into this video, let's take a moment to ask you all to make sure you like this video. Comment down below what your thoughts are, what you wanna see next, how are you feeling today? And um, most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, hit it. Click it right now. Did you do it yet? All right, guys, thank you so much. And uh, if you didn't do it yet, what's stopping you, you know? Stick around a little bit. Be part of the Karma Fem. It's pretty fun here. I don't know, I think so anyway. I'm actually alone in a room, so. Um, <laughs> but I think it's fun. So anyway, um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social medias, all that jazz. But let's get into this box. All right, you guys, so I'm not gonna show you the inside of the box. They always look the same. I will tell you that the calendar is on top. Now, this is the box for February, so Valentine's Day is going to wind up being a huge theme so right off the bat the calendar is very pink <laughs> so this is what it looks like you guys Let's see if i can get the whole thing in there well up close artwork is so cute so cute i love it oh it's very very, very cute. There's some dolphins in the background. Ooh, very nice. Artwork is always by at schmoosey, S-H-M-O-O-S-E-Y on Instagram. You can find her all the times are Central Standard Time, so you might have to do some conversions um, if you're Eastern Stand like me. Eastern, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time like me, I usually have to do some conversions. Oh. And then always, as always, it's the moon in the zodiac on the back, right? Usually the same, usually the same stuff on the back. So there's that. So let's see, next piece of paperwork. Ooh, this is, this is beautiful. So it's, it's double-sided. I got this image here. I'll just hold it up close. Wow, and then the other side is the Af Aphrodite, Aphrodite, I don't know how you guys say it, but tomato, tomato, you know? Uh, Aphrodite Invocation. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is really beautiful roses and seashells. I have zero information on Aphrodite, Aphrodite, so this is going to be an interesting box. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that's the theme. <laughs> I know that they tell us at the end like uh, of the paperwork every, every month. I don't remember it by the time I get to the boxes, and I try to stay away from the um, internet as much as possible because I don't want to have it spoiled for me even though I already spoiled it, but I forgot I had it spoiled. You get my point. I'm a very forgetful person. So yes, Aphrodite is the theme there. We'll read the top. There's front and back this time. I'm a, Apparently I'm a little bit rusty because I didn't have my boxes at the end of last month. <laughs> this month we will embrace the energies and powers of the Greek goddess Aphrodite. Aphrodite is the goddess of beauty, fertility, love, pleasure, and eternal youth. Aphrodite is a Greek goddess whom was later identified by the Romans as Venus. 
There are two stories in Greek mythology that tell of Aphrodite's birth. The first says that she was the daughter of um, Uranus, the Greek god of the sky. She appeared out of the foam of the sea, floating on a scallop shell to the island of Cythera, C-Y-T-H-E-R-A, Cythera. The second story says that she was the daughter of Zeus and the titaness Dione. Dione helps tend to Aphrod Aphrodite's wounds in the story of the Trojan War. Aphrodite effortle effortlessly attracts men and gods alike and loves her fellow women. She is powerful, sexual, and creative and embraces her feminine qualities without any doubts. Ooh. Um... She lives and breathes her true nature unapologetically, and she gets what she wants. It's now time to tap into our Aphrodite power and attract uh, love, yes, but also money, magic, and miracles into our life. It's about accessing the love goddess-like state of mind and knowing how to use it. The items in this month's box were handpicked or curated for setting up a sacred space in honor of our goddess of love and aids for embodying her powers all right you guys so let's put that aside because i don't want to know what's in the box oh actually i missed a page so there's this one and then there's this one go back so there's actually three pages of items Wonderful. So there is some pink tissue paper in here. Could have could have expected that. <gasps> oh, I am going to show you what this box looks like. <laughs> I'm going to show you because the setup is so stinking cute. Oops, I almost dropped it. Little seashells right there. Can you see that? Oh, I think it's so cute. All right. All right, you guys, so I'm going to take the seashells out. Oh, my gosh, these are beautiful. Every time me and my son go to the beach, we always wind up collecting seashells. So he's going to love these. We have a little jar that we put them in. They're so pretty. Aw, I love them. Aw, oh, so pretty. Now there's a giant box in here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have a choice but to open that first. Let me let me see let me see what's going on here. Move some of these. Okay, so there is other stuff in here. Um, but let's open this box first because this took up basically majority. Is it upside down? <laughs> majority of the actual box itself so let's see what's in in here Ooh, okay it won't come out and I'm nervous <laughs> all right all right hold please while I figure out how to get this out of the box without getting styrofoam at, oh, everywhere. I think we're gonna have to get styrofoam everywhere, unfortunately. Come on, dude. I'm gonna have to rip the box. There we go. I got it! <laughs> the box didn't make it, but I got it. All right. So, <gasps> This is beautiful. Let me get it out of here so you guys can see. <gasps> She's gorgeous. So it's a little statue of, of um, our goddess, you guys. Wow, can you see? Look how pretty. <gasps> She's absolutely beautiful. I do not have any statues of any god or goddess at all. And this is just beautiful it looks it looks handmade um 
carved into the bottom here is the, I don't know if you can read that, but it says Nick, so it's signed by the artist. The bottom has some like imperfections in it, so that's what led me to believe that it was like hand done. I mean, this is gorgeous. It's like a greenish gold. Um, not gold, like a like a well, yeah, I guess kind of gold. It's just it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I am so obsessed. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I love her. There's so much detail in, in, in every piece. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, I love her. I can't wait to have her out and about. She is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited. All right, so you guys, so let's move on a little bit. We're gonna go to the next item. We have our incense, which is, it's pink this month. Ooh, it smells delicious. Kind of smells florally and fruity all at the same time. Ooh, I'm gonna have to light one. Boop. All right, let's light it. Mmm, she smells lovely. She smells good. I love it. All right, so let's set her over here. Yeah, and I love the little detail of the little, the little heart ribbon. Oh, it's so cute. And it's such a small detail to make them pink. I think that's so cute. So cute. It's so fitting. All right, so now we have a little, little baggie here. Still has the little wormies on it. Let's open her up. Little pink baggie. Ooh, these feel like candles. Wow, these are gorgeous. So they're like little chime candles, but they have, mm, they smell good. That's the pink one, There's the red one. It looks like there's rose in it. Rose, maybe? I think it's rose. Mmm. So these actually do have a little bit of a faint smell to them. I don't know if it's because of the, the rose that's in it, but they smell really good. Really, really good. Ooh, I love that. That's different than, um, like, when you get, like, your typical chime candles that you get in they don't smell they all kind of look the same those you can tell are hand done I love it all right let's go with our next little baggie now there is something sticking out of here oh how cute how cute look at that There's like a little, I'm not sure what that, I'm not sure what this is for, but it looks like a, like a, like a little, I don't know, like a, a spoon to like scoop your herbs out of the jars or maybe like a little teaspoon. I don't know, but it's adorable. That's so cute. I love it. Let's see. We have Love Spell Tea. Maybe it's meant for your tea to like scoop your your tea out. It states that all of the ingredients are all organic. There is uh, dem demina demina leaf, red raspberry leaf, red clover blossom, rose hips, cinnamon chips, and orange peel. This sounds like it's going to be delicious and I'm gonna open it and find out right now I'm gonna smell it let's give it a sniff and it's filled to the brim that's awesome oh, yeah it smells good I can definitely smell that cinnamon 
Mm, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm so excited. I love my teas, so I can't wait for that. Now, there is a few more things in here. All bubble wrap, so let's take a look. Ooh, ooh, what? This is different. So it says it's rose buds with rose quartz in it. And you can see the rose quartz in it. At the very bottom, like right there. Look how pretty. I'm trying to get it so you can see without the glare on it. Side. Wow, full rosebuds. These are so like cute. <laughs> They're adorable. And I love that they have little pieces of rose quartz in there. I love it. All right, next. Got another bubble wrapped piece here. Ooh, Aphrodite's Kiss. Organic spellcrafted. Organic spellcrafted lip gloss. Are you kidding me right now? Look how beautiful this is. Oh no, camera is not doing this justice at all. Can you see that? It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. Okay, so it's in a roller ball. I'm just gonna. Oh. Ooh. It feels so good on the lips. It feels super smooth. I love it. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. Now it says that there's rose hips, hibiscus flower, rose petals, sweet almond oil, versa versagal, versagal, ca castor oil, glycerin, sunflower oil, extract of vanilla, extract of strawberries, vitamin E, and rose quartz. There's the rose quartz coming down. Right, oh, right there, it just fell. That's beautiful. I love it. And you know what? It's funny because all the red kind of like stayed at the bottom there and I almost don't want to mix it up because it looks so pretty. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I love that. Another bubble wrap here. Ooh, it's a spray. What is kind of, <gasps> rose water, organic roses, distilled water, and witch hazel. So you can see. Now, I gotta tell you, there are a lot of people that have rose waters, okay? This is the first one where I've seen where it was not clear. So that, Basically what I'm saying is that this is a good thing. Like, you know, this was really well made. Anything clear has maybe like more of a perfume type deal in it. But yeah, organic roses, distilled water and witch hazel. There is, <laughs> this is gonna smell so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my God, it's pure rose. <laughs> it's pure rose. I inhaled it. <laughs> oh God. Um, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And it feels, it feels great. So there's witch hazel in it, which is um, like a toner. So that's like, it's like a rose water toner, which is why I sprayed it on my face in case you were wondering. Um, God, it smells, it smells so good. I'm gonna, oh, I love it so much. And you know what? This is great because it smells like rose, like actual rose. And it's not that perfumey, overpowering, like 
what am I breathing in kind of rose. It's like sweet in a way. Oh, it's great. I love it. Those must have been our two beauty products that they supply us with. Oh God, I am so excited right now. I am so excited. All right, I think we have just one more, just the one more item left. Let me just make sure. Yes. So we have one more item left and it is in this cute little heart bag. There we go. So cute. Can't get the box out of the little, little baggie. There we go. All right. Oh, I don't know how to open this. How do I, there we go. What is it? I'm looking, but my glasses aren't on. I can't see. Oh, okay. It's a bunch of roses. <gasps> what? Wait a minute. There's something underneath. <gasps> I'm not even kidding. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I'm not even joking. I think it was like a few days ago, I was saying to myself, you know what? I have a lot of pieces of rose quartz, but I don't have any rose quartz jewelry to wear. And I'm obsessed with wearing crystals. Like I wear, this is um bloodstone. I'm obsessed with wearing crystals and I didn't have anything to wear like rose quartz with. Girl, what? Hold on, wait, it's not facing forward. Hold on, hold on, it's beautiful. What? Are you for real right now? It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I, there's a little stone in the top, like the little heart up here. I don't know what it is. But that is gorgeous. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, it feels, it feels super powerful. It feels super powerful. It's making me like, smile and like oh I feel like this like huge sense of self-love right now wow it's gorgeous I'm gonna put this on I I, I swear to you every time look I'm like stuttering because I'm I don't, like I'm just so baffled right now um every time I get every time I get this box it's like I I have this like yeah I just have such an emotional connection with this box. I really do. This box is phenomenal. And I love the fact that, so usually when she sends us jewelry, it's in like a, a moss because it connects to the earth. I love that she switched it up and she put it in a bed of, in a bed of roses. <laughs> she put it in roses and it's so fitting and it's such a cute little touch and I love it and you can reuse it. I'm speechless. I am completely speechless right now. I don't even know what to say. The necklace did come in a little uh, baggie for storage um, purposes. I usually like to keep my crystals on a longer chain, but I kind of like that it came on a shorter chain because now I can feel like I can wear, I feel like I can wear more than one crystal at a time. And there's like, I don't want to take them all out of the jar here, but there's like one, two, three, four, four, five, five rose quartz crystals in here in the, in this, in this jar. You could take them, you could take them out if you wanted to, but I feel like it's kind of charging the rose petals or the rose buds a little bit. So I don't even want to, I don't even want to do that. But I think what I'm going to wind up doing is transferring all of these lovely roses into a bigger jar so we can keep them all together. But I'm not sure if there's a significant difference between a full rosebud and like some um, 
like just dried roses, like dried rose pieces. It looks like there's just like, yeah, like pieces. Like it looks like there was little, like this is just a piece of the flower. I don't know. So I don't know if there's a significant difference. So we're going to read the papers and find out. Whew. All right, you guys. So wow, this paperwork was like really intense this time. I I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's because I need, I need it. I don't know, but it's very intense. And I got to tell you what made it really intense was you'll see, you'll see at the bottom. I I'll, I'll read it to you. But again, super informational. I don't really have, I don't really have anything to say um god <laughs> everything is just there's so it's there's so much information packed in here i don't even i don't even know where to begin i'm like i'm like overwhelmed but like in in a good way like where i'm like i'm speechless you know like i i don't know it, it's there's a lot so what i will say is that the statue this beautiful flipping statue oh I am so I'm gonna get emotional wow I I just I am feeling so much I'm feeling so much love god what is what is up with me right now I'm just like I'm so overwhelmed with all this power and this love I told you I still have this stone on and I told you the second that I put it on I felt I felt the energy from it but I have I don't even think you can see it right now, but I have goosebumps. I have literal flipping goosebumps from this box. Okay, focus. <laughs> Let's focus. All right, you guys, so I am having some technical difficulties with my camera. It keeps wanting to shut off. The, the battery won't like fully charge. Anyway, that's besides the point. But I, I wanted to finish this video and get it up because it's, it's, it's leaving me speechless at this point. And uh, I, I, I want to... I want to share this with you and I want to share my thoughts with you as quickly as possible because I, I think it's important. So what I was saying before my camera died is this statue here yes i am filming this on my phone so you're gonna have a lot of shakiness but this statue here is um so i said i mentioned that it had the name nick carved on the bottom there uh the paperwork doesn't state who nick is but that's okay it states that it's made from 100 percent resin um, it doesn't say whether it's like handmade or anything like that, but it just says that it's from 100% resin. There is information on Aphrodite's attributes, colors, birds, sacred animals, elements, metal, mounts, number, planet, plants, everything. The invocation is meant to... Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's meant for you to invoke Aphrodite. So, and then you're supposed to put the artwork, the why it's double-sided is that you may want the invocation to stick out. You may just want the artwork to stick out. So you can choose whatever, whatever side you wish. Um, gosh, there is a self-love spell in here that she states is like, it's really important to have self-love. And I have to tell you that the, the spell that is in this is it, it felt extremely powerful it's one of the reasons why i had said to myself like reading the paper it was just very over it was like o like overwhelmingly powerful and I, like it just maybe it's because i need it I, i'm not sure but it, it's really speaking to me and everything just feels really powerful so she included that self-love spell then she also included four not one four different love spell tea spells so spells to go with our tea and our teaspoon slash wand and all of them involve 
stirring the tea and that is what puts your your magic your energy into the spells i you you guys know i always scan over the pages at the end of the videos i'm so sorry for this being so shaky i, I probably should have waited to figure out stuff with my camera but like i said i just wanted to get it up um I like that she puts a little note after the tea spells that says these are not fail proof spells. Your stirs must be exact to ensure that they do not backfire. Love spells are always tricky. So be careful with your spells, okay? Um, that's basically what she's what she's trying to say here. The herb bottle with rose rosebuds and, and rose quartz is basically um, meant uh, to be given as an offering to Aphrodite or Aphrodite, whatever you say. I feel like Aphrodite is um, the correct way. I don't know. Whatever, guys. I'm I'm not I'm not a professional here, you know. Um, the rose quartz pendant, which is what I felt the biggest connection with. Um, God, there's so much that it does, and I didn't even realize that it does that. But she does state. Consec consecrate your pendant with the elements air fire water and earth so that you can use as a magical instrument so i do anticipate doing that the seashells were included because that is what aphrodite was riding um or carried carried to the island in out of the foam so that's why she included it the rose water, it is, it has no essential oils in it. I wanted to mention that. The witch hazel in it is used as a preservative. And she also says that you will want to use within the month to ensure its freshness. So it, it, it'll expire after a month. So I plan on using it every single day. Now... I love, cause like I, like I always mention, I am an esthetician. So she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bullet points on here that tell you all of basically the beauty needs, the skincare needs. It's moisturizing. It helps with acne and dermatitis and eczema, rosacea, oily skin. You can spray it on your pillow to help you sleep better. Like it's, it works as a toner, which I did, I stated. Um, so she's got tons of information on that. The Aphrodite's, Aphrodite's Kiss Lip Gloss is spell crafted with a love spell. So just roll it on your lips like I did. <laughs> um, and maybe that's another reason why I'm feeling so whew, overwhelmed because I have the lip gloss on, I have the toner on, and I have the necklace on. Um, and then the incense sticks are strawberry. Which I did mention that I thought it smelled sweet, but I couldn't um, tell what the sweetness was. So I love, I love that. That's that's awesome. I, that's great. Um, and then the one thing that I did want to read out to you is her basically farewell letter. Um, it says, I hope that you connect with the items in this month's box and take some time out of this month to connect and embody the energies and power of Aphrodite. Please feel free to email me at sales at symbol sacredspace.com anytime with any questions or suggestions you may have. Many blessings to all, Melissa. Now, underneath of it, in bold letters, it says announcement. Every month I meditate on the needs and desires of my subscribers when planning the next three month themes. I have been warned by our shamans and astrologers that great changes are coming in this year. This is the year that we need to call upon our goddesses for aid in the challenges that we are going to face with change in our lives. Every meditation that I have had, I have had a different goddess come to me wanting to share knowledge of her with my subscribers. Aphrodite was the first to come in December. She believes that the year needs to begin with, with strong self-love in order to take on this challenging year. I took that wisdom and planned this box for her. Next came Taish, T-Y-C-H-E. 
um, and so on. They have changed my previous plans for the next two quarters. I have boxes planned three months in advance. So I will continue this goddess series of boxes so that by the end of 2020, we will have all the knowledge, tools, and help from the goddess that have requested to come to us and help us through. Next month's theme is Tish or Tick? Tish? I don't know. T-Y-C-H-E. So next month's theme is another goddess, Tish. I have never heard of that goddess, so I'm not, I am not, woo. Sorry, guys. I know this is a little shaky, but I'm not familiar with that goddess. Um, and that is it. I thought it was really important to touch on that announcement, though, because that's really important um, to me to know. So I don't know about you, but it's super important for me to know that she is um, getting messages from goddesses telling her that big changes are coming. And it's actually kind of funny because... I've been doing a lot of readings lately for myself, basically just wanting to practice. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'm, tr I'm going to try and set this down. Okay. So now that I set it up and don't have to hold it, it'll be a little less shaky. Um, so what was I saying? Oh, I've been doing a lot of readings on, like, for myself, basically. And, uh... I've been getting the same messages, actually, that, that there was going to be a crap ton of changes coming. And they weren't saying it, whether it was good or whether it was bad, but at the end, didn't... Basically, the readings that I was getting is that whether it's good or it's bad, the outcome is going to be wonderful. Like, too many people fear change. And, um basically change just equips us with the tools that we need to better our lives. That's what I was getting. And it's funny because I was getting a ton of readings that were all about self-love, self-acceptance. I am, I am a single mother, so I was getting a lot of readings about bringing someone into my life, uh, which I've been happily single for a very long time now. And I, because I just wanted to focus on self-love and connecting with myself and all, all of that. So I've been happily single. So I don't know what the future holds, but I just wanted to make it known that it's, I found it really, uh, God, I don't even know what, I, I found it really strange, really cool, like, that she's getting the same messages that I've recently been, been getting, just in two, like, different forms, really. Like, she's meditation-based, and I've been working with tarot cards and oracle cards and, and things like that. I am nervous which I think most people would be nervous over change. I'm also really excited to see what the future holds, and I feel like everyone, all of you, should be excited about those changes as well, because whether something good happens or something bad happens, understand that everything happens for a reason. This life is not out to get us. It's out to make us stronger at least from from my personal experience and maybe one day I'll get into the battles that I have had to go through um but that day is not today <laughs> um th that's a day that's a whole other video in itself but I just know from experience that we are not put through these these negative battles because our lives want us to be negative. I know that we're put through them because it makes us better people and it puts us a step closer towards enlightenment. So 
yeah, so that is my feelings on that. <laughs> I am really excited for this box. I am so sorry for the ending where I had to switch. I'm basically filming on my phone right now, and um, I hate it. <laughs> but I don't know what's going on with my camera, and I really wanted to get this up for you guys. So um, hopefully it's not too bad. If it is, I might just leave this part out and um, leave a little message at the end of the video, I'm not sure. You'll know if I if you see this part in the video. But um, thank you for bearing with me through through this horrible, horrible ending. Um, at least film-wise. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you give it a like if you liked it. Make sure you comment down below what your thoughts, if you received the box, what your thoughts were about the announcement that we got. Um, leave me a comment down below if you've been doing some divinations and you've been getting the same kind of messages about changes coming this year um and tell me what your thoughts on are are on it uh are you a little nervous are you scared are you anticipating like what are you what are you feeling right now with that announcement because that announcement's kind of heavy if you think about it so but like kind of i don't know it's heavy but it's like heavy in a good i don't in a good way it's not really good or bad it's kind of neutral like hey just so you know these goddesses came to me for a reason and it's because they want me to supply you with the tools to make it through everything like all these changes that are going to be happening so i'm super excited i'm super pumped <sighs> this box was awesome i like it the necklace is great i can't wait to do this like the self-love spell um both the the actual spell with the candle and then the self-love spell with the tea as well um there is there's also oh god the tea spell it also has ones for like you and your partner if you have a partner it's phenomenal i love it i love the rose water i, I love oh i love all of it all right you guys before i start to um babble make sure you hit that subscribe button click it click it <laughs> all right you guys um other than that i don't think i have anything left to say except thank you all for being here i love you all so so much i appreciate every single one of you just to go along with the theme of this box i'm throwing the love out there um i, I appreciate every single one of you i see you all commenting and you know showing me the love and i am so so grateful so appreciative just i am my heart is full every time you guys comment and i don't think it goes unnoticed that i see um a lot of the same people commenting and showing love and things like that and i think i might start doing some shout outs to people so stay tuned for that and i think that's it all right you guys enjoy the rest of your day night wherever you are and I will catch you in my next video.